Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd show you how I make my carrot and red lentil soup. And for this you're gonna need about 500 grams of carrots. These are peeled and good to go. Two sticks of celery, one onion, about 125 grams of red split lentils. I already have these ready rinsed, um, so they're good to go. And then you need one liter of vegetable stock. So I've got a liter of water here in my measuring jug and I've got a Knorr stock pot that I'm gonna put in there and mix up. First up, I'm gonna chop all the veg and show you how I make this in my Ninja Foodie Max. So I have my veg all chopped up and I forgot to say that you don't have to be too precise with this because it's all going to be blended up together in the end anyway. So I've got my veg that I'll keep to one side here and then I'll just mix up my stock. I probably should have used hot water but um, my water's gone cold by the time I started filming so I'll just mix this up in a second. But then what I'll do is I'll move on to my Ninja and do this in a second. So I have my Ninja here, I'm going to turn it on and put it on the saute mode first. Just leave it on high, that's fine. Turn it on, give it a few seconds to heat up, it doesn't take too long at all. While that's going, I'm just going to put in a little drizzle of olive oil. Just like so. I've just added a knob of butter to my olive oil, just let that melt a little bit. And then you literally just add in all the veg, like so. I just let this cook down for about four or five minutes, just till it softens a little bit. Okay, so I hope you can see for all the steam, it's been about five minutes. The veg has nicely softened, so I'm going to add in all of my lentils. and add in most of the stock, not all of it. There we go, that's calmed down now. So I've added in about eight to 900 ml of the stock. I've kept a little bit aside because I don't want my soup to be too watery and sometimes it's thick enough, sometimes it's too thick. So I'll add the rest in towards the end if I want some more, but that is literally the soup done. I'm gonna add a touch of salt. I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of salt. I've turned the saute mode off, all the ingredients are in, I'm going to give this a stir, but yeah, there we go, give it a good mix up, like so. These dark bits you can see are actually my stock pot that didn't dissolve properly because I didn't use boiling water, so I know for next time. But now that it's all mixed up, all you have to do is get your pressure cooker lid, seal it shut like so, flip the valve to seal on the left there. So I'm gonna hit the pressure function, put it on high and put it on for 18 minutes and press start. And that is literally it. Once it's done, I will quick release the pressure and I'm not gonna blend it in my pot because I always worry that it will scratch the big pot that's inside. Once it's cooled down a little bit, I'll pour bits of it into my Nutribullet or into a different pot and hand blend it. But if you have tried and tested using a hand blender inside your Ninja, then let me know how you got on. Did it scratch your pot? Was it okay? Did it splatter everywhere? I'm just a bit worried about doing that. So I prefer to just decant it into something else. And for now, I'm gonna let this run and I'll come back and show you what it's like once it's done. It's been 18 minutes and I've done a natural release, but you can just do a quick release. And I've lifted the lid, here we go. This is the soup. As you can see, I don't know if you will be able to see actually, the carrots are super soft. I've just managed to smush one against the side of the pot. So now I'm gonna let this cool down for about 15 minutes or so, and then I'll transfer it to a saucepan, blend it up, and if I need to, then I'll add the rest of the stock, which is about 100 to 200 mil of, well, it's just water, to be honest, because my stock cube didn't dissolve properly. That's just personal preference. You don't have to add that if you don't want to. It depends on how watery or how thick you like your soup to be. Okay, it's the following day, so my soup has definitely cooled down. It's been in this saucepan overnight. Here we go. I added the rest of the water because I know from when I've made this before, this is the consistency that I like. I have my Nutribullet here, good to go, but you could just use a hand blender. So I'm just gonna whiz this up. So now that that's done, all I wanna do is pour some out into bowls. Okay. 
Okay, so I've dished up two bowls of soup here. I've probably got another two portions in the Nutribullet. This makes about four portions, depending on how much stock or water you add. I'm gonna stick these in the microwave because mine are completely cold, just to warm them through, and then I'll come back and show you how I serve the soup. So my soup's just come out of the microwave. I'm about to toast some bread in my ginger, just on the air crisp function. So I'm gonna crack some black pepper on top of my soup. And then what I like to do just to make it feel a bit creamier is just get some plain yogurt. I use soya, but you could use any type of yogurt you want. And just get like a tablespoon of yogurt and just swirl it through. I can't make it look pretty. <laughs> and if you have parsley or coriander, which I only have coriander, and a tiny bit of that, you could use it to garnish. And here we go. Lunch is served. Yum.